Oh, yeah, this is... Me uh, meanwhile! Yeah, there are parts of the story where we're gonna, like, see what someone else is doing. Ah, uh, the good old Twisted Tales. I cannot leave Anton waiting. I think they all say the same dialogue. Oh, there we go. Anton. An Anton! Bruce! It has been too long. I missed you, Lapa. I missed you and all, babe. How are you keeping? You know me, I am always fabulous. But what about you, Lapa? Why are you wearing a mask? Uh, it's called fashion, look it up. <laughs> God damn it, fuck! <laughs> God <laughs> I'm taking my hat off and throwing it on the ground and stomping on it. I'm just gonna advance the next uh, dialogue box. <laughs> hey, no need to be sassy. I just thought you were getting ready, you know, the plan S. I, the plan, will travel to Sky Garden and steal the pebble squeen right under Duke Josh's nose. You make it sound easy, Lapa. But still, you know, we lack saving experience. So I was thinking, maybe we could get a third party member, someone who is expert. Oh, uh, an accomplice. That's a fab idea. This pub house is all sorts of nids and rogues. I bet there's a natural thief among us right now. It's Emma. It's the tiny hustler child. Mm. Give me a minute, babe. I'll ask around. Good luck. You're robbing Sky Garden? I've heard horror stories about their prison system. Ruthless guards torture and whispers of a chained up dragon too. So uh no, count me out. Oh well. A, rob a robbery, eh? Wouldn't be my first, but those days are long behind me. I'll dedicate my next song to your good fortune. Uh, I did see a special guy in the corner though. Oh, uh... Here oh, comes hey, a special boy, here. here comes my special voice, here comes the special voice! So since the palace gates are open, we should demand to talk to the king himself. You really think he'll listen? He has to, right? It's his job to serve the people. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> Sorry <laughs> to interrupt, lads. You want in on a heist? We're all right, thank... I don't know what, I don't know what that was. We're all right, thanks. At, doing three at a time seems tough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no... Yeah, no more petty crimes for us. We're going straight and trying our hand at a much cleaner career. Politics! All right. Ooh, I love a good heist, me. Count me in. Ah, uh, but I'm working a double shift. Guess I'll have to pass. You want my help, Robin Duke Josh? Not a chance. The Duke's ruthless, even by Clan Grey standards. Not getting guillotined so he can make off with a paw full of seeds. Uh, let me see. Good news, I'm pretty sure that's all the NPCs I voiced in this room last time. <laughs> <laughs> Rumor... <clears throat> Rumor in the tunnel is this. I totally forget this guy's voice. Mm -hmm. Rumor in the tunnel is Sky Gar Rumor in the tunnels is Sky Garden has a stoat for a blade master. You could pay. You couldn't pay me enough to tussle with one of those. Mm. Now it's not the time to be playing knife darts. Or is it? Mm. It's time to get good at darts. That's it true. Mm -hmm. No luck. Nah, I asked everyone here to. Maybe this wasn't such a good plan. <laughs> Ooh. Uh... <laughs> I'll take the job. Might be good for a laugh. Who said that? Uh, show yourself. <sighs> oh, poof. The name's Jabari. But those who see my handiwork... Call me Pocket. Oh, I get it. Uh, Pocket because... Hmm. 
because you pocket their stuff, I. <laughs> no, but that's pretty good. I'm stealing that. So, you want to break into the indomitable fortress of Sky Garden to nab a pebble? Aye, the pebble skewin. It's a family heirloom. Sounds shiny. Tell you what, I wouldn't normally just help out anyone for free. But I think it would be hilarious for that hoity-toity duke to be taken down a peg. So, just this once, I'll offer you my trickster skills totally pro bono. What do you think, babe? Uh, this guy sounds pretty great to me. I don't know, Yappa, or Lapa. How do we even know Jabar this Jabari person is a real thief? Alright, uh, that's a good point. Maybe we should set up some sort of a test? Ahem. Is this your seed purse, hamster? Nichiko Sebe! It is! Alright, you're pretty good, Pocket. You're in. Looks like we're really doing this. We're off to Sky Garden. Yeah. My home. Oh. Oh, I found it! Marita's Great Library. Nope, that closed down. This is Marita's so-so bookshop. Ah, oh. well, that will have to do. Uh, I think all these are going to be the same. I just want to see if there's anything... I don't know if Siobhan will... I think Siobhan reacts to some of them differently. Mm -hmm. uh, check the one in the corner that we couldn't read last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I come here just to smell the books. Mm, love that new book set. Same guy. Uh, Mousewife misses a... Mousewife misses a tale of lust and longing. Uh, hold on! This is a loot story! That's not what I'm looking for! Uh... Too bad. Mm -hmm. Ah! Ah! Oh, I'm very sorry. Your outfit startled me. That's quite all right. It happens all the time. Wait, that mask. You're a plague master, right? Indeed I am. Like Master Aquila of Merida, to be exact. Oh, I was doing a totally different voice for that guy. You must be very knowledgeable then. Maybe you can help. Uh, see, I have this friend. He's looking for a yellow god. Oh, how curious. What do you and your, what do you and your friend know about this yellow god? Well, I don't know much, but my friend who saw it said... Wait, your friend saw the yellow god with his own eyes? Your friend actually met the yellow god and lived. Yeah? Who is your friend? Just a wandering mouse knight? What's the big deal? What's his name? Where is he? You must take me to him. I have to go. Wait, Mole, wait. So the Yellow God is more than just a myth. What could this mean for Merida? Hey! I must have let the king post haste! I love how within this game we are also playing the game of who does what voice and what voice is that. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. This is why I keep a spreadsheet. Uh -huh. The statue of Redemption's reigning monarch, King James, the, uh, I think that's 50... 55th? 45th, uh, maybe? Yeah, that's, that's 45th. 45th. In his right paw, he holds the scepter of legal, legal authority. In his left, the orb of divine rule. The king of jurors. Save your game. 
Your game has been saved. Visitors always ask me about the secret passages around this palace. But there ain't any. Trust me, I looked. You look pretty strong. You ever thought of joining the symbol guard? And we've got these. I think these are like patron backed stuff. I believe they're all Kickstarter backers, yeah. Yeah. Brian Bright, seasoned traveler and trinket connoisseur. So Theo of Rings a lot. Knight of the Order of the Silver Tomb. Sir Oscar the Mighty. Small in stature, unyielding in spirit. Uh, this guy, he's from the Needle Knight comic. Nice. I'm supposed to be enlisting people for the god, but nuts to that. Job's cursed. Come sign up if you want to give and or receive some fresh trauma. Bornflower the Childish. Uh, les Cornois, Hero de les I don't know how to pronounce French. <laughs> it's a bastard's language. You found an ancient thimble. No, don't steal that. It's a priceless artifact. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't give a shit. It's all yours, little guy. I think that goes. Let me see. Oh, okay. It's in this one. Uh, ancient thimble, a sturdy guard's helm. Uh, I mean, I, I I don't think I'm gonna be equip it. I I think I like this jacket more. Hmm. I think that's good, but I think the jacket's just like one of the best things you can get. Yeah. What's our stopping point? Oh, We're at like an hour and a half already. Yeah, I was gonna stop at two unless you want to stop earlier. Uh, no, I'm good for two. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, I do. Hope Oh, you want that one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I do hope the young king lives up to his mother's fine reputation. Gods rest her soul. Uh, I think a good way to uh, handle who's doing what voices is just like an alternating pattern of like uh, myself, uh, Emmy, and then Patrick. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I think that makes sense unless it's a... <laughs> Sorry, that's really good. Uh-huh. Lord Cheesecake, opener of doors and refuser of kisses. <laughs> I want to see that possum. Mm -hmm. What's their deal? Possum with a pearl ear. <laughs> Who is she? I would love to know. Who is she? Who is she? Luis Duke de Campo Muito Grande, an unflustered peace bringer. Little capybara. I like them. Little Dan. Behind. Oh yeah, sorry, you, I can't be little Dan. Behind here's the barracks. Touch my stuff and I'll bury you. Yeah, here are the barracks. Uh, there isn't much in here. We open our gates for one day and suddenly every itchy it wants to rifle through our stuff. Hey! Keep your grubby paws to yourself. Says Halftail, Frontier Explorer of the Emerald Marshes. Sir Hamilton Flint, Tamer of Titans, Champion of the Wayward Star. Murray Cloudrunner, Skybound Inventor and Maddest of Lads. Wily Coyote over there. Hmm. Sir Gale, Sharpshooter of the Symbol Guard, Heroic Defender of Two Tail Pass. It's my first day on the job. But I'm kind of scared. Leo and Rosie and everyone else is so cool, I'm worried I'm going to let them down. God, Mate. Just do your best, I guess. Y yeah, thanks. Wait, did I say... Hang on, I think I said the wrong thing. Oh, well. It's fine, we'll figure it out. Yeah, I... God, but take my I'm sorry. Um, oh, I thought you meant. Okay, never mind. No, wait, no. Yeah, God, but I think it's the right one. I'm remembering now. I think mm -hmm. so. 
This door leads to Plague Master Aquila's lab. All right, you weirdo, that one. Oh, that's Big Dan. Yeah, that's Big Dan. The door is locked. Oh, so, don't be mean to me. I'm not weird. So here's an important question. Mm -hmm. So if there's a little Dan and a big Dan, does that mean somewhere out there there's a little challenges? I don't know. Mm. I think there is a medium Dan. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, let's see. Um... I actually will suggest you do this one, Dan, for yeah, reasons. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, my sister's running late for roll call on her first day as well. She's going to get churned out at this rate. Just something I realize is because there's some characters that appear in a lot of scenes together, and uh -huh. so. Like those two. Uh, yeah. Who have the matching uh, scissor blades. Yeah, and then there's a third character who goes along in a lot of. Not all their scenes, but. Mm -hmm. A lot of their scenes, so... Yeah. I, th I think your sister is waiting for you up the stairs. Rosie's waiting? Yeah. Said something about roll call. It's roll call already! How did I lose track of time? Uh, I'm so stupid. I've gotta go. Uh, also, yes, these were uh, Kickstarter backers at uh, 75 euro. Huh. That's nice. a lot of euro. I love to see a big collection of OCs. That's mm -hmm. why I made a podcast about it. Uh huh. Maybe. Uh, maybe we'll. Maybe I'll do a let's play of Bug Fables after this because that that's a game with a lot of uh, of uh, cool cool Kickstarter backer NPCs. Mm -hmm. Nice. So it was you who assisted Maisie. I appreciate that. I didn't do anything. You did something. The residents of Gutter End won't even give us the time of day. And I can't say my blame them given the guards' mixed reputation. I don't know why you chose to help my sister out, but in any case, you have my thanks. Thanks for passing on Rosie's message. You're the best. The Night Guard. King James I addresses Blade Master Atura and the first symbol guard. Hey, uh, be honest with me. Does this hat make me look uh, distinguished? What do we think? It's cringe. I don't know about fashion, but even I know those hats are out. Ah, dang. Really? I'm going to make sergeant one day. Maybe this hat will hold me back. Yeah, don't be hat guy. Uh, the boy is spoiled and foolish. Yes, dear Magnus, but his counsel is wise and experienced. Let us lend the full support of our baronies. Oof, as if we have a choice. I think that was supposed to be baronies. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, so th th there were, like, did you see, can you go back down there for a second, Dan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, cause you see there's the larger one and the, the, the second, there's the, there's the, you know, the larger one on the left. Magnus um, and Dominic. Yeah. Um, so do you think Magnus, um, that, do you think he has, like, a, like a, uh, little, little Baroni? Hmm. Maybe. Don't dwaddle here, peasant. You're stinking up the place. That guy was in the comic as well. Mm-hmm. Don't mind Alex. He's just bitter that Sir Leo stole his Blade Master title. Uh, King James lament. In the wake of the Great Fire, the first kingdom of of Merida surveys his Ashen Kingdom. Another comic guy. The hammer of justice falls heavy. Take thy leave, lest thou wishest to bear its weight. Oh, that's that guy's got the boss monster font. He sure mm -hmm. fucking does. I fucking love this dude. Diego. Yeah. Sir Diego sure is something. When I stand guard with him, I feel downright unqualified. 
Oh, that's a judge's gavel. That's funny. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, did you want something? The king? Can I see the king? Uh, yeah. Nah, sorry. You gotta request a formal audience for that privilege. Can I do that? Okay, can I request an audience with the king? Sure thing. Uh, but just so you know, the waiting list is three months long. Put me down. Sounds good. Put me down. Alrighty. Name? Term. Surname? Uh... No worries. I know how it is. I'll just write down Verm of the Under River. Matter of business? God slay. <laughs> is that the name of your play or comedy set or something? No, don't, you know what? Don't tell me. I want to be surprised. You're all booked in. Come back in three months. Fine. I will. I'm gonna try to go in and... Oh! <laughs> Touch not the door. Thou hast no business with the royal court. Javon was right. I'm not getting an audience with the king. But maybe she managed to uncover something. I'm gonna save my game real quick. The game has been saved. Oh! Tequila! I wonder if I can go, like, see her. Let me see. Or, may or maybe I go to... I'm just gonna fuck around and see if there's stuff mm -hmm. I can do with that. Nah, it's locked, and that's where she would have gone. Hmm. Unless she goes to see the king. But even yeah. then, I probably can't get inside. Yeah. But I want to check anyways. Uh... Oh, she's here with uh, oh, hey. Diego. Oh, cool. Let me three, you thunderous oaf. I have urgent matters to discuss with the king. Thou art disgraced, Plague Master. Thou hast no place upon the royal court. So yeah, I guess there was something. This is our opportunity, Stilton. One day, the one day to let the king know everything wrong with our kingdom. Don't bother. He doesn't see plebs. Hey, I I know you. Yeah, you're that brat who cut down Chief Sava. You and that fleabag brother of yours. My brother was no fleabag. But where is your bro? I don't see him around to save your hide. I save my own hive now. Looks like a fight's brewing. Should we stop them? Nah, the mouse looks scrappy. I want to see where this goes. I bet you two have a lead on the yellow god. Tell me everything you know. You'll have to make us, Pipsqueak. Alright. These guys, special yeah. boys. Mm -hmm. Is is that Chief Titan Reaper? Now, now hold on, just one second. <laughs> Round two, bozos. Let's rock. And then Stilton was dead. Uh -huh. Rip. One shot. And then Bree was also dead. Uh-huh. All, all right, mate. You've made your point. The yellow god. Get talking. I haven't heard that name for a while. Not since, you know. Yeah, and to be honest, there ain't much to tell. 
just that he's a harbinger of death and doom and all. I know all that. Tell me something new. Sorry, mate. It's all we got. You should talk to Kalix if you want to know something. Kalix? Yeah, yeah, the Kalix of the woods. Word in the tunnels is she lived for 400 seasons? She's seen everything, knows everything. You're obviously pulling my whiskers. I swear it on Sava's soul. You two are useless. Is he is he hunting the yellow god? That's not going to end well. A little loose in the head he is, but can't fault his determination. Should we still go to see the king? Nah, the wild one's got a point. The king's far too pompous to see us plebs. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Gotta get gotta get ready for this voice. Been waiting all all night for this one. Strength and stability. That is what my mother promised to this kingdom. And that is what I shall deliver. Virtuous and ambitious, your majesty. But your decision to close the east gates has caused unforeseen issues. Intercity commerce is down a quarter. Tourism is faring even worse. If we don't reopen, we may have a recession on our paws. What are your thoughts, Blade Master? Whether the gates are open or closed, Merida is safe. The Thimble Guard are more than capable of facing any threat to the city. So perhaps your majesty should consider the needs of the people. My boy, the needs of the people? Your Majesty! Plague Master, you know you were dismissed from the King's Council. Take your leave. This is a matter of great importance, Needle Knight. National security. National security, my tale. Please proceed, Plague Master. There are two subjects of interest in the city. A mole girl and a vagabond mouse. I believe they possess knowledge of a great supernatural force. I request that you rally the Thimble Guard to find them and... A great supernatural force? Ghosts and musk wolves. Your Majesty, pay this fearmonger no heed. Hold your tongue, Needle Knight. You have no idea the terrors that this kingdom faces. Enough quibbling. Both of you. Lore Master, what is your counsel? Mm, well, I don't know any about any supernatural force. But we did receive a butterfly just this morning from the Lady of Cranville Village. She claims that her daughter, a noble mole named Siobhan, was abducted. The culprit, a vagabond mouse wielding a god weapon, is en route to the capital. Such coincidental timing. One can't help but wonder. Could this be the same pair? It must be! The girl was dressed like nobility. Well, what are you waiting for, Needle Knight? Rally the Thimble Guard! Search the city! I'll brief Dame Rosaline and Dame Maisie on the matter. That should suffice. That's all. Two amateur knights. The Scissor Maidens are more than capable of handling a, handling a trivial kidnapping case. Your Majesty, this is a very serious matter. I trust Leo's judgment. We'll go with his recommendation. If that is all, then take your leave, Plague Master. Yes, your 
Yes, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. I'll see the rat out. Where were we? Oh yes, the East Gate. Sir Diego. Blade Master. What do you make of Plague Master Aquila? My thoughts matter not. For a symbol god, I am bound by duty. I'm not asking Sir Diego the Iron Justice. I'm asking Diego, my dearest friend. Aquila claims to value the pursuit of knowledge above all else. And yet they work behind locked doors. The secrecy betrays an abhorrent motivation. Like an innocent fly with twisted poison... Like a... Fuck. Like an innocent lily with twisted poisoned roots. Pray that the rat's works do not infect the young king's mind. God's willing. God's willing. Blade Master, I hope we're not interrupting. Yeah, I heard that you have a special minish for us. A special simon. A mesh. Ah! I'm messing up already. Easy. Take it easy. Slow breaths. Is she alright, Rosaline? I. I'm fine. Sorry, please continue, Blade Master. I'll keep this brief. Listen closely. There's a noble mole who's been kidnapped by a vagabond mouse. You're here already. Did you learn anything? Yeah. City folk are weird. No argument there. I couldn't meet the king. But I did learn of the so the so called Calic of Ashen Tower. Ghosts and Muswolves, am I right? The Calic. Mammy taught me the legend of the Calic. She's as old as the mountains, as wide as the gods, but as cold as winter. She lives at the top of Ashen Tower, where she watches the world with unblinking eyes. Huh, so the rats weren't lying. Where is this Ashen Tower? In the heart of the gloaming woods near Sky Garden. So goes the legend, at least. Sky Garden? That sounds familiar. A new location has been added to your map. So, is that where you're headed next? I suppose. It's a bad lead, but it's the only one I've got. Are you hoping to tag along or something? I'd love to. That wasn't an invitation. But it's not like I can stop you. Gizzy probably knows where Sky Garden is. Or I'll hitch another ride. It seems a shame to leave Marina right after we got here. Well, I'll make sure to do a round of shopping before we go. Sounds grand to me. I'll follow your lead, Sir Verm. Uh, I think I already did all the shopping that I need to do here. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think we did just about everything that can be done. Yeah, uh, I think, let's see, we're in hour 45. I think we can, uh, stop for now. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, seems like a good, good, mm -hmm. good stop in place. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, with that, I say, uh, good night, everyone. Peace out, folks.